good morning year nine i hope you're all doing well and keeping safe at home um so today your lesson is going to be on bile interesting so before we start the lesson you need to make sure that you familiarize yourself with these symbols so it is a press pause symbol i'm going to ask you to press pause and then when you're ready to carry on press play there's also going to be a set timer symbol you can see over here this means that it's going to be a set time for the task because if you don't put timers on you can sometimes overrun and you'll just spend all day doing a task then the next one is you have the pen over here so this is to write down your answers if you look on teams there's a word document that i've attached on there just open up the word document and then write your answers in there then press play again when you are ready okay so for your do now task please do this on your whiteboards so i would like you to write down the enzymes protease lipase carbohydrates or amylase match them to the reactants and then match the reactants to the products so we'd like you to press pause now and then when you're ready press play and check your answers okay so let's see how you did so we have protease it breaks down proteins to make amino acids that hasn't come up yet but we're going to do carbohydrates that breaks down carbohydrates and then lipase breaks down lipids then we have the lipids break down into fatty acids and glycerol the carbohydrates break down into simple sugars these are known as glucose and then we have the proteins break down into amino acids Brilliant. okay so the big question today is why do people say you should chew your food 20 times before you swallow it so just pause the video for a few seconds and have a think about it in your head okay so the digestive system we have gone through quite a bit of the digestive system right now so it's an example of an organ system in which several organs work together to digest and absorb your food you can have a look at the diagram here you have many organs that work together in the digestive system so today we are going to be looking at the liver the gallbladder and the stomach specifically so bile what is bile? So after food has been in the stomach, food travels to the small intestine. The enzymes in the small intestine work best in alkaline conditions. So we know you can have either something that is alkaline, acidic, or neutral. This is the pH. So enzymes in the small intestine work best in alkaline conditions, but the food is acidic after being in the stomach because if you have a look at this picture you can see your food travels on your esophagus into your stomach and then it goes into the small intestine so it's acidic in your stomach so therefore the food is acidic going into your small intestine bile is a special substance produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder so produced by the liver stored in the gallbladder and it's secreted into the small intestine and it has two very special effects it neutralizes the acid providing alkaline conditions needed in the small intestine so any acid that comes with your food from the stomach is neutralized and it allows it to be turned into an alkaline condition it also emulsifies the fat so it provides a larger surface area over which the lipase enzymes can work what I would like to do now is you are going to watch this YouTube video. I have left the link on Teams. So if you pause the video now, watch the video, the other YouTube video, and then come back to this video and press play. Okay, so what does it look like 
this is what bile looks like it is the yellow stuff so you know when you're not feeling well and you get ill and you throw up and you feel oh but i haven't eaten any food and then when you throw up you can see like a yellow substance that is bile that is coming up so which one gets digested more quickly and why what i would like you to do is on your whiteboards have a look is it the fat globule or the fat droplets pause the video write down your answer give a little explanation why you've picked it and then press play and we'll see if you're correct okay so if you said fat droplets you are correct why is this because it's all about increasing surface area the more you chew your food the more you increase the surface area. When you increase the surface area, it means that you are giving the enzymes in your stomach more of an area of the food to work on. This speeds up digestion. So if you just eat a whole grape, digestion will be slower than if you chewed that grape and you broke it down into smaller pieces, therefore increasing the surface area. So if you have a look at this diagram, it helps you. So we would have the cube or your grape. Then you chew your grape. You are increasing the surface area that the enzyme can work on. But if you keep chewing it, you will increase the surface area even more, speeding up digestion. Now, a bit of problem solving. So we have fats, lipids, as they're known as. They don't break up very easily. What they actually do is they form something called an emulsion as they mix with the watery parts of your food. You can actually look at this at home. If you get oil and you put it in water, you can see that the fat doesn't break up easily. It just emulsifies. It doesn't mix properly with the water. So this reduces surface area. This is a problem. So bile comes to the rescue how do you think bile solves this problem on your whiteboards i would like you to write down how bile would solve this problem in the digestive system so press pause set your timer for three minutes and then write down your answer okay so if you said Fats in your stomach form an emulsion with the water. Correct. Fats stay as globules and make it difficult for the lipase, which is your enzyme, to break them up. Remember, for extra points, you want to say, not make it difficult for the enzyme. You've got to name the specific enzyme. So you want to say lipase. So bile emulsifies these fats, breaking them up into smaller droplets. This then provides a bigger surface area for the lipase to act on, meaning the fats are broken up much quicker. What I would like you to do now is, on the Teams Word document, you are going to answer these questions, please. You are going to set your timer for four minutes, then you are going to type your answer, and then after four minutes, when the timer goes off, you're going to press play. I'm going to show you the answers. You are going to correct your answers in a different colored font when marking. It needs to be a different colored font so I can see which part of the answer you got correct and which part you needed to improve on. So pause the slide now, four minutes, and I'll see you then. Okay, so the liver is not part of the digestive system, but it is closely linked because it produces which important chemical? The liver produces bile. So remember, you always want to answer in full sentences. Two, what does this chemical do? What does bile do? So it is used to make large fat molecules smaller. This gives the enzymes, remember what I said? you have to name the enzyme lipase a large surface area so more of the fat is more likely to be broken down 
And if you put a little bit of extra point and you said that it speeds up digestion, excellent. So you can pause now and then make your corrections to your Teams Word document and then unpause when you're ready. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next part of the lesson. So digestion in the stomach now. So when food enters the stomach, it stimulates the secretion of hydrochloric acid from the stomach wall. So you can see over here, you have, if you will come down your esophagus, and then it will go into your stomach. This is a very acidic environment. Hydrochloric acid is actually pH 2. And this is actually an optimum pH for the enzymes in the stomach. So what I mean by optimum pH is means that it is the pH that they work the best at. These enzymes, one, two, work at their optimum, be the most efficient. And they work at, they work at pH two the best. Now, Going back to the question, big question, why do people say you should chew your food 20 times before you swallow it? Now I would like you to pause and I would like you to think about this and answer it. Okay, unpause. If you said the reason you chew your food is to increase the surface area, so therefore the enzymes are able to have a larger surface area to work on and therefore increase digestion perfect so digestion in the small intestine digestive enzymes are found in the small intestine and they can be damaged by strongly acidic pH we know that if you have a look at the diagram that your food goes down your esophagus into your stomach and goes directly into your small intestine and the stomach is strongly acidic pH. What pH is it again? You said pH 2, you are correct. So how does the body avoid this problem? Well, the liver produces bile. Bile is an alkali. It's stored in the gallbladder and it's released into the small intestine. So we have the liver here, produces it, then it's stored in the gallbladder, and then it goes down the bile duct into the small intestine. Bile neutralizes the acidic contents coming from the stomach, creating an alkaline environment for the intestinal enzymes to work. So this is to be done on your whiteboard. You're going to set the timer for three minutes. You're going to pause when I tell you to pause, write down your answer, and then unpause. So digestive enzymes are found in the small intestine are damaged by strongly acidic food. Food moves directly from the stomach, which is strongly acidic, to the small intestine. How does the body avoid this problem? So pause, three minutes, write down your answer on your whiteboards, please. Okay, so you should have said the liver produces bile. You have to say an alkali. That is one of the main points of this explanation. You want to say it's stored in the gallbladder and released into the small intestine. Then you want to say bile neutralizes the acidic contents coming from the stomach, creating an alkaline environment that the intestinal enzymes need to work. If you said it creates an alkaline environment that the intestinal enzymes need to work because it's their optimal pH, even better. You were using all those scientific words that are needed to get the higher marks in your exam. Okay, so what you are going to do now is, while watching this video, you are going to write down the symptoms you would have if you had bile deficiency. Because there are some people who have a bile deficiency. Their body just doesn't produce enough of it. What is the problem? What issues will arise from this? So in your team's assignment, you will find a link to the second video. Please pause this video, 
watch the other video and then press play on this video. Okay, so what you should have written down is you have fat soluble vitamins that aren't broken down. They can't be used. So if you don't have vitamin A, you can't see very well in the dark. This is why they say you should eat lots of carrots. Then if you have don't have enough vitamin E, you get very dry skin, chest pains. Also, if you have a bowel deficiency, you can get jaundice constipation, fatty liver, fatty liver because the liver cannot break down the fat. They say there's large globules. You get bloating. When you go to the toilet, your stool either floats or it's very, very light in colour. And you get something called gallstones. Okay, so for the final task, what I would like you to do is to go back to the Teams Word document. You are going to tell me the two jobs of bio. You're going to have six minutes to do this, so set your timer to six minutes. Then you are going to, after you've done that, give me three symptoms of a bile deficiency. To help you out, if you need a bit of extra help, I've put some key points on the slide over here. Ensure that you put these key points into your answer for you to get all the marks. Then what you are going to do is after six minutes, you're going to come back, you're going to play this video. Then you are going to correct your answers in a different colored font. This again, as I told you before, allows me to make sure that you have first of all done the work and then second of all self-assessed. So you know where you've gone wrong and you need to improve or you know where you know what I'm pretty good at this I got it down okay so I would like you to pause the video set your time for six minutes and write down your answers on the team's word document so pause now okay so this is the ideal answer if you have something similar Brill if you need to add anything remember different color font please add it to your team's word document so I can see that you are making improvements you're reflecting you are looking at your work and you are thinking I could improve it here so you want to say the liver produces bile this is used to make large fat molecules smaller this gives the enzymes lipase remember a larger surface area so more of the fat is likely to be broken down into droplets then for the next two points bile is an alkaline it neutralizes the strongly acidic pH contents coming from the stomach creating an alkaline environment high pH that the intestinal enzymes need to work if you added for example optimal pH brilliant and in the top section over here if you also added that it increases the rate of digestion or the speed of digestion even better now three symptoms you've just done it so you can have any of these jaundice constipation fatty liver bloating or gallstones okay so if you need to you can always pause the video now and make your corrections remember please 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 you have to press submit on the team's um, assignment. If you don't, it says that you've just looked at it and I can't actually access your work. So you have to press submit. Okay, perfect. Please take care of yourselves and hopefully you'll probably hear my voice again next week. If you have any questions, please write it in the team's chat. When I get the chance to, I will reply to you but if you can reply to someone else's answer reply there as well help me out okay perfect please stay safe bye